Hi, this is Tim Parrott, fitness manager with the National Institute for Fitness and Sport. And this is Molly Mitchell, our health fitness specialist. Today we're going to be doing a fitness fusion workout. You can do this first part seated or standing. Let's go ahead and get into it with a warm up with arm circles, arms out to the side, just doing some circles forward first. Just another 10 seconds going forward. All right, then we're doing 10 seconds backward circles. And relax. Next up, we are marching in place, getting those arms just swinging by your sides, legs marching. And let's go for another 15 seconds, marching in place. Looking good. Keep going for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Next up, we're marching forward and back. So just marching forward and marching back. Keep going for another 15 seconds, forward and back. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Now we're doing some alternating heel taps in the front. And again, just let your arms swing with you, tapping those heels. Keep going, another 15 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Great work. Now we're doing some alternating toe taps behind. Alternating toe taps behind. Again, let your arms swing with you. Do another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. From here, see some big toe taps to the sides, just stepping out one side, then the other. Just 10 seconds to go. Keep those legs moving. In three, two, one, relax. Then from here, we're back marching, and now we're gonna punch your arms in the front, alternating, punching forward. Keep going, another 10 seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Now we're doing a big side step. So you're stepping over to one side and then over to the other side. Looking good, another 10 seconds. Three, two, one, relax. We got one more to do in our warm up. Let's do some leg circles. If you're seated, it's just an ankle roll. So if you're standing, get that whole leg going. And if you're seated, just doing the ankle roll. Keep going on that side. Five, four, three, two, one and same thing over on the other side circles if you're standing with your whole leg and if you're seated just doing those ankle rolls
five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Hope you're feeling good so far. That's our warm up. And next up is our workout. Okay, let's keep moving. We're doing marching and we're doing arm circles, getting those arms out to the sides, arms and legs moving. Marching and arm circles for another 15 seconds. Looking good. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, keep those legs moving. We're still marching. Let's go ahead and reach forward, open up wide like you're swimming. So feet moving, open up wide. Keep going everybody, just 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and relax. From here, let's go ahead and do some toe taps forward, and we're gonna take your arms up. So we're tapping forward, alternating, and reaching your arms up. Keep going, just another 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Looking good. Now we're gonna do some toe taps back and reaching up your opposite arm. So toe taps back, reaching up your opposite arm. Keep going, another 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Very good, next up, we're gonna do some ta toe taps in the front and get your opposite arm up. So now just one arm coming up in the front, taking out that opposite arm. And let's keep moving with some toe taps back and reaching your opposite arm up just like that. We're going for another 20 seconds here. Just getting your whole body moving. And if you're seated, just scoot forward a little bit in your chair if you're not having enough room. Let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Now we're gonna do some big toe taps out to the side and reach out your opposite arm. So kind of lengthening out your body, opposite toe taps and opposite arm. Let's keep going with that for another 15 seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Next up, let's do some big side steps and arm swings. We're gonna start over to one side and we're gonna do a big side step, kind of swing your arms out. Looking good, let's do another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Now we're just doing some nice easy leg kicks, one then the other, straightening out your legs in the front. Keep going, just 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. From here, we're gonna get back to those leg kicks, now reaching both arms forward as we kick. So alternating, kicking your legs, reaching your arms forward.
Keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Very good. All right, let's do some jumping jacks. So if you're seated, you're gonna start with those feet together and then hands at the sides. We're gonna open up wide. Again, if you're seated, take those arms all the way up high. So let's step out to one side and bring it back. All right, let's pause right there. And if you're standing, let's do some steps out to the other side. If you're seated, same thing, let's do another 10. Stepping out, arms coming up high. Three more. All right, looking good. Then if you're seated or standing, we're bringing those knees up high. Keep going, another 15 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, let's keep moving. We're doing marching and we're doing arm circles, getting those arms out to the sides, arms and legs moving. Marching in arm circles for another 15 seconds. Looking good. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Keep those legs moving. We're still marching. Let's go ahead and reach forward, open up wide like you're swimming. So feet moving, open up wide. Keep going everybody, just 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and relax. From here, let's go ahead and do some toe taps forward and we're gonna take your arms up. So we're tapping forward, alternating, and reaching your arms up. Keep going, just another 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Looking good. Now we're gonna do some toe taps back and reaching up your opposite arm. So toe taps back, reaching up your opposite arm. Keep going, another 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Very good, next up, we're gonna do some ta toe taps in the front and get your opposite arm up. So now just one arm coming up in the front, taking out that opposite arm. And let's keep moving with some toe taps back and reaching your opposite arm up, just like that. We're going for another 20 seconds here. Just getting your whole body moving. And if you're seated, just scoot forward a little bit in your chair if you're not having enough room. Let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Now we're gonna do some big toe taps out to the side and reach out your opposite arm. So kind of lengthening out your body, opposite toe taps and opposite arm. Let's keep going with that for another 15 seconds.
in three, two, one, relax. Next up, let's do some big side steps and arm swings. We're gonna start over to one side and we're gonna do a big side step, kind of swinging your arms out. Looking good, let's do another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good, now we're just doing some nice easy leg kicks, one then the other, straightening out your legs in the front. Keep going, just 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. From here, we're gonna get back to those leg kicks, now reaching both arms forward as we kick. So alternating, kicking your legs, reaching your arms forward. Keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Very good. All right, let's do some jumping jacks. So if you're seated, you're gonna start with those feet together and then hands at the sides. We're gonna open up wide. Again, if you're seated, take those arms all the way up high. So let's step out to one side and bring it back. All right, let's pause right there. And if you're standing, let's do some steps out to the other side. If you're seated, same thing. Let's do another 10. Stepping out, arms coming up high. Three more. All right, looking good. Then if you're seated or standing, we're bringing those knees up high. Keep going, another 15 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, and relax.
Okay, everybody, let's keep working. We're gonna be doing some seated core exercises. So if you will, let's scoot forward in those chairs a bit. And we're gonna start with some sit-ups in our chair. Let's cross your arms, and you're gonna slowly lean back in the chair until you feel the back of the chair behind you, and then you're slowly coming forward. So nice, gentle movement back to the chair and up in the front. Throughout this entire exercise, you wanna be pulling your belly button back toward your spine engaging your core muscles let's keep going with that for another 15 seconds keep going for five four three two one and relax keeping those arms crossed let's do some slow body circles again keeping that belly button pulled in nice tight core muscles. Good work everybody. Then let's go the other direction. Body circles in the chair. All right, great work everybody. One more with those arms crossed. We're up nice and tall. Let's do a slow, gentle turn. Just a few inches in each direction. Again, pull that belly button in as you turn. Keep going for another 10 seconds. All right, awesome work, everybody. You can relax those arms and let's get them reaching down to each side. Again, keep that belly button nice and pulled in tight. Gently reaching down to each side. Five, four, three, two, one all right back up nice and tall let's take those hands we're going to reach over your knees and then pull those elbows and shoulders back keep going another 10 seconds pulling your elbows and shoulders back All right, one more going side to side. We're gonna take one arm, just kind of curling up and over your head. Going for another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, very good. Next up, we're going a high knee and lifting out your opposite arm. So lifting one knee and one hand up high. Take that knee up as high as you comfortably can. And let's go for another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, we have one more to do. Let's have those arms out. We're gonna be reaching just a few inches in each direction. A nice challenge here would be to try to keep your arms level as your body moves side to side. Nice gentle movement here. Again, pull your belly button back toward your spine, engaging your core muscles. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, let's go through those again. And we're gonna start with some sit-ups in our chair. Let's cross your arms 
and you're going to slowly lean back in the chair until you feel the back of the chair behind you and then you're slowly coming forward so nice gentle movement back to the chair and up in the front throughout this entire exercise you want to be pulling your belly button back toward your spine engaging your core muscles let's keep going with that for another 15 seconds Keep going for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Keeping those arms crossed, let's do some slow body circles. Again, keeping that belly button pulled in, nice tight core muscles. Good work everybody, then let's go the other direction, body circles in the chair. Alright, great work everybody, one more with those arms crossed, we're up nice and tall, let's do a slow gentle turn, just a few inches in each direction, again pull that belly button in as you turn. Keep going for another 10 seconds. All right, awesome work everybody. You can relax those arms and let's get them reaching down to each side. Again, keep that belly button nice and pulled in tight. Gently reaching down to each side. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, back up nice and tall. Let's take those hands. We're going to reach over your knees and then pull those elbows and shoulders back. Keep going. Another 10 seconds, pulling your elbows and shoulders back. All right, one more going side to side. We're gonna take one arm, just kind of curling up and over your head. Going for another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, very good. Next up, we're going a high knee and lifting out your opposite arm. So lifting one knee and one hand up high. Take that knee up as high as you comfortably can. And let's go for another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, we have one more to do. Let's have those arms out. We're gonna be reaching just a few inches in each direction. A nice challenge here would be to try to keep your arms level as your body moves side to side. Nice gentle movement here. Again, pull your belly button back toward your spine, engaging your core muscles. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, now we're all done with those core exercises. Let's get to some stretches. So let's start with one leg out straight in the front, that heel on the ground. Take a deep breath in and gently crawl down that leg and just feel that gentle stretch on the back of your leg, bending at your hips, 
holding right there for another 15 seconds. Take some slow, deep breaths as you stretch. Looking good, everybody. Hold that stretch for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let's come on over, do the same thing on the other side. Start with the deep breath in. Gently let it out as you crawl down that leg. You should feel a gentle stretch on the back of your extended leg. Hold right there, another 10 seconds. Three, two, one, excellent. All right, we're back up nice and tall in those chairs. Let's take one knee, we're gonna gently pull it up toward yourself, and then we're gonna point and pull your toes. Keep going for another 10 seconds. Point and pull. Awesome. All right, let's slowly bring it down. Same thing on your other side. Pull that knee up and just gently point and pull. Five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, from here, we're gonna scoot forward a little bit in the, on those chairs. We're gonna turn to one side and push that outside leg back. So we're looking for a hip flexor stretch in the front of your hip or a quadricep stretch in the front of your leg. A nice gentle bend forward, just one or two inches to protect your lower back. And we're gonna hold it right here just about 15 seconds, taking some slow, deep breaths. Three, two, one, and relax. Gently over to the other side, so we're rotating. And again, push your outside leg back, and a gentle bend forward at the hips. Hold it right there. Just 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Very good. All right, we're back facing forward, everybody. From here, let's just slowly let your head lean over to one side and we can add to the stretch. So let's take that same side hand up onto your head and then slowly turn your head towards that arm. So we're looking for a gentle stretch on the side of your neck. Hold right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, gently back down. Let your head lean over to the other side. Bring that other arm up. And slowly turning your head towards that arm. Hold right there. Just 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and relax. Go ahead and bring those arms down. Just gently let them swing up in the front and reaching back behind. Nice, slow, gentle movement. Excellent. All right, awesome work, everybody. We are all done. We'll see you in the next class.